I got these two digital voice recorders at some flea market, I believe. Uh, they cost basically nothing. Um, and both are broken. And I thought I would make a video showing them off. Um, before I put them in the trash. Just because they look cool. This one um, seems to be the older of the two and uh, I think might be early 2000s or 90s. The only inputs it's got it's, is our mic and ear phone and uh, no discernible way of uh, getting the uh, recordings off of it. So I'm assuming they were... Uh, uh, intending for you to manually, <clears throat> sorry, um, to just record off of the uh, earphone output. It's dumb. Um, anyway, uh, there's nothing specified in the manual for this about um, any way to transfer data. Runs off of two triple A's and they put this uh, convenient whatever piece of bendy plastic hinge here for you to uh, not lose this I suppose um, yeah it does come off easily but that's okay and the two batteries are aligned in polarity. Isn't that cute? Piece of... Yeah. This one's kind of nicely made. I, I really like it. Too bad it doesn't start up, doesn't do anything. Uh, here's the thing. This one has USB. It's got this lever here. Huh? <laughs> I've seen only a few devices like this and it always amuses me. Does absolutely nothing when connected to a computer, but I did hook it up to a power meter and it was uh, consuming like uh, 50 milliamps, so there's life in it. And by the way, if it's completely turned off, not even um, uh, with a battery inside, look, also has a hinge. Yeah. Um, then it shouldn't draw 50 milliamps, for fuck's sake. Uh, what else? It has buttons and, um, micro SD slot. Along with, um, internal, uh, storage, you see? And, uh, wonder how they would have reconciled that. Like, does it, um, um present itself as a single USB drive on uh, the computer? Does it require specialized software? What? Uh, I, I don't care that much. Yeah, look, stereo and, and such nice grills on this. Yeah, too, too bad it's um, dead. Too bad it's dead. But we're all gonna be someday.